Hey guys, this is Jay Snow, and we close this window up. But what we're gonna be talking about here is the Xbox One reveal. So I am gaming, of course, so I might as well talk about this because you know they come out and whatever, and there's gonna be millions of videos. But I'm just gonna put my simple thoughts on it. So I'm using, I'm actually on joystick.com. So if you wanna read into any of the articles of this, I'm just gonna be discussing like the main features. I'm just using this as a reference to what do you call it, what happened because there was so much crap. <laughs> it was so much crap that like a literal crap. I'm not even saying like crap as in oh, there was a lot of stuff. No, just little, little crap. So, Xbox One. So, basically, it is an entertainment system. Yay! I'm a gamer. I love Facebook and Skype and Snapshot and talking to my friends and looking at movies and TV and sports. Yeah. <laughs> That's basically what the conference was all about. So, in my opinion, just to sum it up, absolute oh, garbage. What's even funnier right now is the stocks. I'm looking at the Sony stocks right now. They're going up. Like, Sony stocks is just going wee, And the Microsoft stocks is going, ooh. It's like, wow. Absolutely. Like, you know it was a shit fest. Like, I don't know. Like, I know when at these E3, like, this was an E3, but just give an example. Like, E3 and these press conferences are meant to, I guess, engage investors. So that's why sometimes they don't, they don't really focus on the gaming things. They want investors, you know, your normal, typical... You know, old rich guy just sitting there like, yes, Facebook, social media, money. You know, just sitting there like that, and they gotta appeal to those guys too. But oh my god, this is definitely probably a huge backfire. Now, is E3 still coming up? Yes, so well, of course we're gonna see the Xbox games there, but oh my god, almost no gameplay. <laughs> Everybody sat there like, gameplay. Where's the gameplay? 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 I don't know, gameplay. And. Now we have the system specs. I'm looking at the six system specs here. So we have. I'm not sure if I can put the. F I, I think I can put the photos up on the video. I'm not sure if that's really copyrighted or whatever. So if I can put the photos up, I'll put the photos up. But anyway, uh, what do you call it? it? Has a 1080p HD RGB camera. So that's pretty cool. 1080p HD camera because it's supposed to have like connect built in. So basically every single system will have some kind of connect sensor built in. So that's pretty cool. And in 30 FPS color, and it comes and it has a microphone with it. Then they did what was next? EA Sports, which oh man, this is, like I know they wanted to show off like the connect movement and all that shit, but it's like man, we 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 really don't care about sports. Uh, the controller now I do like the controller. The controller looks pretty cool. It has let's say, it says here impulse triggers and integrated battery compartment, Wi-Fi direct radio stack. But this is sack <laughs> and precision directional pad, so it almost looks the same as the old one. And I, I hopefully it'll be better, but who knows? It's biggest slap in the face Xbox Live still have to pay for Xbox Live. Oh man, it's like with PS3, you know, after so many years of PS3 and everything else with free online, why do they still charge for this? It's like, why? And there's, there's no reason to be charging for this. I mean. <laughs> There's no reason to be paying sixty dollars to access stuff, and what's even a bigger slap in the face is when they take stuff that you can get free. Like, if, well, technically you're paying for internet service, but anyway, you go on a computer like in a library, and you look at like Twitch.tv, for example. You can watch streams on Twitch.tv for free. What do they do? You gotta have gold to watch streams on on freaking Xbox. It's like what the fuck? They're probably gonna charge you to watch TV too, like. Uh, what do you call it? I wonder how much they're gonna charge you to watch TV because they they had so much talk about TV stuff like half the conference is about TV this TV that it's like oh do you like to watch TV I heard you like to watch it's like yo dog I heard you like to watch TV so we put TV in the gaming console so you can watch more TV it's like what the fuck uh, quantum break I, I actually missed it because I stepped out of the room uh, but I, I heard there's no gameplay so I, if there's no gameplay I cannot care about the game <laughs> Uh, it's getting 15 exclusives, and I think se 7 or 8 are new, and the rest are the same. So expect your Call of Duties, Halos, etc. <laughs> this was funny. I'm not a Halo fan, but I, I imagine if I was a Halo fan, I was probably, probably would, like, why? <laughs> so Steven Spielberg, Spielberg, of course, is a good director at all, but Halo television live action series. Like, live action, too. Like, if they did, like, animation or whatever, that would have made a little bit more sense. But... Live action, it's just like, what the fuck, man? I and mean, we'll have to see what's did. I mean, you're gonna have to put, like, massive Steven Spielberg magic or whatever, I don't know. 
Uh, the release date's gonna be later, later this year, so I'm assuming November. I'm gonna go with November. Because the new Call of Duty, you know, Call of Duty's released on November, so if it's coming out for the Xbox One, then it's gonna come out in November, I think. Or December, one of those. Uh, what else? Oh, and the ending. Oh, man, the ending. I was like, why? Why? <laughs> it was like, oh, we have gameplay from one game today, and here you go, Call of Duty. It's like, out of all the things you could have picked, Call of Duty. Why? Why Call of Duty? And, and and the graphics looked about the same. There was all you couldn't really even tell if there was a difference in the graphics. They were emphasizing on story. <laughs> story. Oh, Jesus Christ, story. Oh man, that was like I, I don't even know what to say to that. It's like, oh my god, we have story now. It, it, yes, yes. The average Call of Duty player fucking plays for story. Uh, I don't know what to say to that. And dogs, man. We got dogs now. We got dogs and fish. Dogs and fish, bro. Nothing can top that. Dogs and fish. Oh my god. Amazing. Like, amazing. This separates everything from every Call of Duty ever. Like, I don't know what to say. Fucking dogs and fish. And probably the biggest slap in the face of today is you're going to be required to install your games. And if you buy a used game... You will get a prompt saying you have to per excuse me, you'll have to purchase like I guess half price or something like that for the game. They, I don't think they mentioned this. They didn't mention this in the conference, but you cannot play used games basically like if you go to GameStop, you buy a used game, you'll have to pay again just to play the game. Now, I personally hate GameStop, so in a way I kinda like it this, but then again, of course I don't. But you know, cause I just hate GameStop and their service like, you want a pre order? It's like, no, 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 don't walk out the door. We, we want you to pre-order something. You can't leave. You must pre-order. Yeah, it's like, I hate going to GameStop, man. But, I mean, that's just... Oh. I don't know if the PS4 has the same thing. I don't think so. I mean, I haven't heard much PS4 news lately. But, uh, what do you call it? Basically, the PS4 allows you to play used games or whatever. It, it's like it's like game over for Xbox. Like, that one announcement... Well, that one, not even announcement. That one piece of information is like... It's just, it's just game-breaking, man. Or console breaking, I should say. And oh my God, look at this! I mean, I'll link, I'll link to joystick.com if you guys don't use it. It's pretty much a basic summary. I'm not a big fan of IGN, so I use joystick a little bit easier. But it looks like Xbox One not not backwards compatible with 360 disc Xbox Live Advanced purchases. Oh wait, wait, hold on, wait, I may have read that wrong. Not not backwards compatible with Xbox 360 disc disc. Xbox Live Arcade purchases game score transfers? What? Uh, I'm, I'm like reading this right now. We Oh, this is their statement. We care very much about the investment people have made in Xbox 360 and will continue to support it. With a pipeline of new games and new apps in the future. Part of that investment will transfer. However, your Xbox Live... Wait, 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 wait. How, will transfer. However, your Xbox Live gamer score... I don't know if the article's edited right, but if I'm reading this correct and I'm not mind fucking myself, you won't even get your gamer score. What? I I mean I I I don't know what to say. I I might I might be reading this wrong, but I am reading that you cannot play your old 360 games. It's like the nail in the coffin right there. Now this came out just like as I was recording this this B log, whatever you want to call it. Oh my god. Oh, no, 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 the gaming scores do, they do transfer, right, they do transfer, so it's just you can't play your old Xbox games, that, that is so, and Xbox Live Arcade games, you can't even play freaking Xbox Live Arcade, things you download from, like, an Xbox cloud, you can't play, oh my lord, so, I mean, this is probably possibly, I thought, like, the conferences last year were bad, and whew, this one took the case, so what do you guys think, let me know in the comments below, now, will I end up getting an Xbox One, I have no clue, I'm not gonna 100% say, no, hell no, I'm not getting it. I mean, I'm not making that much money as it is, so I'm definitely not dropping, you know, whatever. They didn't release a price. I'm not dropping money on that. I'd rather get a PS4. I do live with family members, so they may get an Xbox One, and then maybe I just play around with it, but I, I don't think I'm gonna be buying it. But that's pretty much it. So what do you guys think below? Uh, as far as channel stuff, we'll be doing a PvP changes. WoW PvP changes soon. We'll, I think I'm gonna put that into a WoW Newscraft. And if you guys have any questions for the WoW Newscraft, like any of your WoW questions, 
inbox me on YouTube. We haven't got any questions left, and I've been hoping to do that. So if you guys have any wow questions like, oh, where to level, I don't know how to do this, I don't know how to do that, feel free to inbox, and I will answer it. Also, if you want to be anonymous, you can tell me if you want to be anonymous, and I'll, I will answer it in the next wow newscast episode. So thanks for watching. See you guys next time.